Liverpool should have a cleaner future following the opening of the CETA Advanced Waste Treatment Plant in Kemp's Creek. The $50 million plant, which will be fully operational in July, was opened by Deputy Premier and Minister for Climate Change and the Environment, Carmel Tebbett. This plant sets the benchmark for advanced waste treatment plant, uh, plants in Australia. It will receive about 134,000 tonnes of waste, of which 60,000 is from Liverpool Council residents. Uh, it will recover 70% of Liverpool residents' waste stream uh, as recyclable material and as compost. It lifts Liverpool Council households' recycling rates from 16% to 80%. So from a 16% recycling average per house at the moment to 80%. So it's a massive leap in sustainability for Liverpool and for Western Sydney. Liverpool's general waste, their garbage, is going to landfill at the moment. So this is a step forward, it's a quantum leap forward for Liverpool. There are about seven advanced waste treatment plants now in New South Wales. This is the benchmark. It has very high recovery rates, delivers a good quality compost from uh, the, the Penrith line and a restricted use compost from the Liverpool uh, materials is able to sell that back to the economy and massively reduces greenhouse gas emissions. So it's a low risk, high performance technology that's been chosen for the CETA advanced waste treatment plant. Liverpool residents generate 70,000 tonnes of waste a year with just 16% being recycled. Now 82% of this waste will be recycled. The plant has been opened in line with the three bin garbage system available to households in July. We load the, compost, the organics in there for seven weeks, it composts, it's completely air extracted, uh, odour controlled and oxygen controlled. So we have uh, behind these tunnels a whole gallery of sophisticated computer systems that then pump air and monitor the temperature and the oxygen uh, and the moisture content of the compost. Once it's fully matured and therefore is not creating any odour, we can take it and refine it and mature it before we sell it back to market. So it's a fairly sophisticated system of odour control and you'll see the ducts above our heads here. All of the air is extracted out of the plant and taken to biofilters at the back, which is then uh, processed in the biofilter before it's discharged back to the atmosphere uh, and is odour free by the time it leaves the site.